Welcome back to my channel. So in the previous video, we completed the part number three as well as four that is bearing bottom up and attachment top up. Now in this video, we are going to see how to uh, modeling the that is part number five that is bolt square bolt head. As you can observe in the sketch, so this is a square bolt head because how we came to know square because they have given the symbolic notation as this square means 18 means the all the sides are equal and this is having thickness of 6.5 and this is the stud dia is 10 and uh, the stud length is 75 up to 26 <coughs> mm the thread will be there that is m10 now in order to draw this the basis the basis sketch will be we need to do a square on the top sketch plane and that is in a rhombus form because why you need to do in this rhombus form is because in order to do that revolving cut out of this chamfer right so that will make uh, in order to do that we need to create this square uh, like in a rhombus form so let's get into the solid jet to generate the model for this so now go to solid part select solid part now here take a command called protrusion select top view now here select rectangle command now generate click on uh, generate this rectangle now give the dimension each dimension of this will be 18 18 mm now once it's generated now we need to rotate this to 45 degree so therefore take a here rotate option that is rotate command and select this sketch and click on this corner to this and this will be 45 degree and before that press control so click on the and switch off this make sure that you are switching off this copy command and select this and click on this edge and this edge and give the angle of rotation as 45 degree now once is done we need to place this to the center because why need to play, keep this in center means because when you do the revolving move so that is very uh, for the revolving option it should be at center otherwise chamfer will not take place properly therefore for it you have to take a move command and select this is the uh, sketch and make sure that you are keeping and uh, selecting at the center so there is a highlight will be there yeah so now it is selected at the corner exactly center and keep that in a make sure that you are switch off this copy command and keep it on the center so now go to return now this thickness so what is the thickness of this around 6.5 so now give it as 6.5 mm now once it done now we need to generate a chamfer now. so this chamfer will be at an angle of 30 degrees so now for that we need to so select here revolving cutout command select front plane now let me zoom this so take a line command from this corner you draw the line join to this center and take a angle between this center to this line will be 30 degree line and after that take a line command now take the midpoint of this surface and until it cut it join this line until you join this line now take a r5 center command and take this is the center and this is the radius generate the arc over here so once it done now take a line command take a line command so for that you draw this line Now, this 
angle of line should be 30 degree from here to here make sure that you are given 30 degree now it is not uh, changed why because we taken a tangent therefore again i will undo this i will take the line from here i will draw this now i am giving a from here to here it is angle is 30 degree so now finally you delete this line as well as this as well as this so from here we join this and here to here we join it looks like a it looks like a triangle form so now let me measure so this is the actual result there. suppose it makes it too difficult suppose it makes difficult for to construct like means as a blind matter what you can do as a thumb rule is just delete all this we don't need to do like this uh, so this is as per the construction means procedure but instead of that another way i'll teach you just take the line command and give an angle of this between this will be 30 degree and as we seen in the previous we the distance when you consider this line the distance will be around 3.5 you just so 3.5 came here because it this line is constrained okay let me delete the constraint Now uh, 3.5 give the distance as 3.5 and join here to here. It is same as before. So now it is makes you too easy to construct. So that's why you and the angle between these two line is make sure that you are drawn the 30 degree. So that is the and this distance is 3.5. So now it will ask him the now revolving rotation axis. This is the axis now. Now go to return option and give as 360 degree. Inside or outside it will ask. So we are taking outside and give a 360 degree. Now as you can see now. It's done. Okay. So bolted is completed. Next thing is we need to generate this. Uh, we call bolt stud. So that is seventy five mm length, and diameter of this will be ten. So therefore, take a again protrusion command. Select sketch plane as this surface, sketching plane as this surface. Now take the circle command, take it to center, and this diameter is 10 mm. Now go to return option. So, what is the total length we need to give? That is 75. Therefore, give us 75 mm. Enter. Now, next thing is there will be a thread will be there from this edge up to the 26 mm. Length. Therefore, we are going to generate that that thread now. For that, go to in a more all option thread command. So it's a strike thread. Yes. Now it will ask the which portion. This is a cylinder portion, and where it is to be begin. It has to begin from this end, and here. Here it will ask the up to what distance. So the finite value you have to select here, and here you give what is the distance we need to give so that up to 26. Therefore, give as now 26, and here 
this is m10 that is m10 into 1 ml h and finally finish cancel and delete and delete and do okay select this and 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 the to be extend finite value will be around 26 and our type of thread is m10 so then finish So next thing is there is a chamfer at the end so what is the chamfer angle is 45 degree and the distance is 1 mm how came to know 1 mm because that is not mentioned but in the uh, bill of material you can check out that here chamfer is if not given 1 into 45 degree we need to take it so let me do that now so go to chamfer command so here the edge the setback length you give as 1 and select this edge and press right mouse so now it is done so let me save this now go to save option save and give a summary name as what is the name of this bolt so please give the same name as mentioned in the bill of material that is bolt m10 so give the same name bolt m10 let me copy the same thing press ok and here also give the same name and save it so in order to know whether uh, the thread is generated or not for that we are going to cross check like this for your purpose create drawing press ok let me take to this in a 2d sketch when we take the print view so let me take to the print view now finish now it is you can observe here the thread is generated that is visible in the 2d draw so by this, we have successfully completed the part number 5 that is voted. Thank you.